This segment brought to you by the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center in Oakley. Our wildlife segments feature some pretty interesting birds and other animals, and I find this one very interesting, and I think you will too. The snipe has a rather mixed reputation, but when you look into the reality of this bird, it's a pretty interesting story. So let's take a look at the snipe. Most of us have heard of, or even perpetrated, the practical joke of snipe hunting. That fool's errand of tricking the greenhorn into riding into the woods, making ridiculous calls, waiting in vain for the variously described fictitious beast to show up. But what if you really want a bag of snipe? What should you do? Well, first make sure your Kansas hunting license is in order. Wilson Snipe, formerly known as Common Snipe, is a large shorebird, just shy of a foot tall and under four ounces. It is one of two shorebird species that can be hunted in Kansas. Like other shorebirds, this species prefers to forage on mudflats and in water less than three inches deep, in wetlands and along shorelines. Unlike most other shorebirds, common snipe frequently feed at vegetated sites. They use their two to three inch long bill to probe into the mud for insect larvae and earthworms. Snipe nest in Canada in the northern tier of the U.S. states. They begin arriving in Kansas during the late summer and can remain throughout the winter. Cheyenne Bottoms and other shallow marshes are the primary snipe hunting areas in Kansas. Snipe hunting is physically challenging because hunters wade or slog through often mucky areas to flush snipe. Just getting off a shot is difficult at times because it's hard to keep from falling down while swinging the gun in response to their erratic, fast flight. Many a shot is not taken because the hunter is off balance and doesn't want to fall in the mud. Snipe hunters need to be proficient in wetland bird identification to make sure they do not accidentally shoot similar looking species that are protected. Yellow legs, greater and lesser, and dowagers, long billed and short billed, are the four species most similar in appearance and size to snipe. Color patterns, flight, and call are the best characteristics for distinguishing snipe from lookalike species. Snipe fly in a zigzag pattern and more powerfully than yellow legs and dowagers. Dowagers and yellow legs tend to fly in a straight line. Snipe tend to give a single note call when flushed, while dowagers and yellow legs typically give multiple note calls. So brush up on your snipe identification techniques and invite some friends to join you in the snipe hunt. Oh, and if you fry up that little beast, let us know if it really tastes like chicken. Welcome to the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center, right here in my hometown of Oakley, Kansas. We're the front door of Western Kansas, located on three main highways, I-70, US-83, and US-40. And all those roads lead to history, beautiful scenery, and adventure, no matter which direction you go. We now have an IHOP that brand that you've trusted up and down the road in all your travels is staffed with local folks, real people, just like you and me, and we're waiting on you to join us. So for fun, adventure, fuel up, fuel your body, and let's have some fun. 